So our chapter name is numbers up to 20. So we are studied for numbers up to 20 in our different ways. So what is that? We learned about 1 to 10 and what is the concept of 0 and what is the making of 10. Our next, <music> next concept numbers on abacus. So what is this? So you can show that here spikes and rods differently is there. What is an abacus? An abacus is used for counting numbers. It has spikes or rods for putting beads. So we will place beads on rods as like I am showing here that is rods, metal rods in a ones place and tens place you will have. So we will place beads in there. So our next number what they are given one beat in the ones place stands for one one and one bead in the tens place stands for one ten. So we will divide the number into two parts. The two parts we will write it in a ones place and tens place. One bead is there in ones place for that we will write one and next one one bead in tens place is there right for that we will write one in a tens place. If you combinedly called it is 11. What is that? 11. So 11 is divided into two places. One in ones place, one bead in tens place. So for that we got it 11. Next one come to 15. So 15 here 15 is also divided into two places. So 15 is also divided into two places. So come to that one. 1 in 10 and 5 ones. So here, so 1 in a 10's place, 5 in 1's place. So 1 in 10's place, 5 in one place. That is 5 beads, 5 beads drawn in one's place. 5 beads drawn in one's place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 beads are there. For that 5 we will write down. For 10's place only 1 is there right. For that 1 beat 1. So you can take it as 15. Next one. Write the numbers shown on the abacus. Write the numbers shown on the abacus. So here first number they are given as 13. How they are shown here? So they show that 3 are there. 1, 2, 3 beads are there in 1's place for that 3. Next 1 in a 10's place for that you can combinedly take it as 13. The next one they are given that once there is no beads in a 1's place for that we will write 0. Next one in 10's place 2 beads are there for that 2. So it is combinedly take it as 20. So here our page number 65 don't forget that so once in a place that is how many are there and in tens place one is there combinedly take that all so same as it is above as shown in a 13 and 20 so you can write all that numbers here also last one once place there is no value for that zero and it is tens one is there for that 10 that is the concept you have to write it Come to page number 66. So what they are asking here is draw beads on the abacus for the given numbers. So we have to draw here. So first one they drawn for 12. First one they draw for 12. 2 in 1's place. 2 beads they are drawn. 1 bead they are drawn in a 10's place. For that you can write so 2 in 1's place 1 in 10's place divided 12 is divided into 2 places so 2 beads drawn in 1's place 1 10 that is drawn in a 10's place 14 also you have to take 4 1 in 10's place 4 beads drawn in a 1's place next one 8 is there so so 8 is there. Here only single place is there that is come to 1's place. 
So 8 you can write it as 0, 8, 0, 8. So tens place there is no beads, ones place 8 beads. Let's, let's go into draw 8 beads in ones place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you can count 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 8 beads are there. There is no beads, no need to write beads in a tens place. Why? Because there is nothing is existed. For that it is like that you have to draw for the given numbers. Next one what you have to do here is, so I am giving one activity, today one activity I am going to give, draw beads on the abacus for the following numbers. So for all the numbers, try to draw beads on abacus. So it is very easy concept. Is there any doubts you can call, you can call back and do one thing, draw all the beads on the abacus for, and also color it color it for the beads, color it different 